NDIP, Unit A, Element 4.3, Occupier's Liability. You would imagine that persons in charge of premises should have some responsibility to make sure that visitors are safe when using their premises, and you'd be right. The common sense principle was established in common law through decisions made over the years by judges, but it's also clarified in statute law in an act of parliament, the Occupier's Liability Act 1957. Note that we are still concerned here with civil liability, so the sole purpose of this act is for a person who is injured due to defective premises to use a breach of the act as the basis of a civil action. A breach of this act is not a criminal offence. So occupiers of premises owe duties under the Occupiers Liability Act 1957 to visitors to ensure that premises are reasonably safe for the purpose for which the visitor has been invited. The occupier must also expect children not to be as careful as adults, but is allowed to assume that persons with specialist skills, such as electricians, should be aware of the hazards associated with their work and take adequate precautions. Now this legislation deals with persons who are invited or permitted by the occupier to be there, but is this enough? Incidents occurring after the enactment of the Occupier's Liability Act 1957 demonstrated that uninvited visitors, that is trespassers, might also be entitled to a duty of care by occupiers. In particular, children who might be attracted, for example, by a poorly fenced building site or a derelict property. As a response, the Occupier's Liability Act 1984 was enacted, in addition to the 1957 Act, to extend the occupier's duty of care to trespassers. So to understand the extent of duty of care of occupiers of premises, we need to take heed of common law and be aware of the duties under both Occupier's Liability Acts. 